Uh, financial experts uh, say that you, not you in particular, but you, meaning everyone, uh, you're probably throwing away a few hundred dollars a year in ways you don't even notice, and you can save a ton of money by changing a few small things. Here okay. are five of them. Some of them you guys may have already done. In fact, the first one, I know you both have. Rethink your premium subscription services. Gone. Gone. Bam. Using the antenna. Mm-hmm. And it works. I couldn't miss Great. it any less. Yeah. Both of you have said that. Great uh, reception. And uh, you're happy with mm-hmm. it. Very happy. So uh, they say that, that you may like having the options, but if you're not using them, you're wasting money. How many of those channels do you actually watch each or month. if you end so. up channel surfing you stop and watching some stupid show and two <laughs> hours later you're like i just wasted two hours of my I'll life i'll never get that back yeah so, so you that's don't need those changed shows. i also think too uh, uh, you know sometimes now with my more limited channels mm-hmm. i'll not find anything that really appeals to me so you'll do by something the way else. that happened when i had a uh, hundred channels too right i keep right. going through and nothing jumps out at me same thing so there you go uh, but it's not just television. Do you have unused cell minutes, uh, unread magazines stacking up? Take a good look. What's a what, magazine? Yeah, <laughs> take a good look at what you and your family actively use, and then cancel or downsize your plans, meaning cell phones too. If you can live without them, chances are you don't really need them. Sure. Uh, buy generic. You may think you're sacrificing quality, but the experts say you're not. Fancy brands cost more, mainly because of the outside packaging. Sure. Not because of what's inside. Yeah, and the marketing it takes to uh, to market those products. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Beauty's uh, only skin deep, Cindy. Exactly. <laughs> Take it easy with coupons. They seem like they're saving you money, but they actually make you buy things you normally wouldn't because you're getting a better deal. Really think about, if I didn't have a coupon, would I buy this? Uh, the only way I'll use a coupon, and, and rarely, I, I mean, you don't really see that many anymore anyhow, but right. if it's something I was going to buy anyhow, right. mm-hmm. otherwise. Otherwise, you may never use it. Never, ever, ever pay full retail price. Almost all consumer goods go on sale at some point, and that's when you should buy them. And finally, don't buy the suggested add-ons. Uh, rental car workers are trained to get you to buy their insurance. When your own insurance policy probably covers you, I rented a car uh, when I was on vacation this summer. Sure. Uh, the credit card that I used, and I didn't know this. It was a f- couple of weeks before I went on vacation. I got an email from my credit card company. Every now and then they'll send them out with something that they do. Mm-hmm. And it said, hey, do did you, you know, know? Yeah. did you know that when you rent a car using, you know, our credit card, uh, your insurance is covered? No, I didn't know no. that. So when I rented my car, I'm like, nope. I don't need you. My credit card covers my insurance. Thank you very much. So those kinds of Mm. extra fees can add up over time. So learn what your credit card covers. Learn what if AAA covers if you have it. Learn what your own insurance covers and learn to say no. And listen to more radio. Because we'll teach you. And we're free. It's free. (laughs) That's right. Doesn't cost you anything.